guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video, we're gonna talk about hair. I told you, told you 2021, I was gonna start bringing hair in. Well, today we're gonna talk about it. All right, so timestamps will be down below. I'm gonna quickly talk about my hair. Um, it's not a styling hair video or anything like that, not yet. I'm gonna talk about something that is an insecurity for me. And I know I'm not the only one, but you know what? I'm gonna bring it to the table and we're gonna talk about it. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed like the last couple of years is that I have been like, I guess losing some of my hair. My hair's been thinning and certain parts of my head. Now I do have thick hair. You can see I have pretty thick hair, but there's just certain parts of my hair that, well, it's not what it used to be, okay? A quick background of things that I have to deal with or like just uh, health things that I have. So I mentioned before that I have seborrheic dermatitis, which is like, the best way I can describe it is, you know when like a baby has a cradle cap, how their, their head gets very like flaky and you have to clean it? It's kind of like that, but I have it like all here in my head. Um, yes, I've used T-Sal, I've used, what is the other one, Coltar, I've used shampoos and everything. And what happens is, and if you have flaky skin on, if you have a flaky scalp, and like I'm talking flaky like where it starts to get like red and patchy like this, and it's all in here and you don't address it, like your hair starts to fall out. Like you have to remove that. Um, so that's one thing. Then a few years ago, I was sick. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I had to be on very strong medicine that made my, like parts of my hair fall out. I wasn't like, like going, um, like I wasn't like losing chunks or anything like that, but I did notice that like, well, here, here's the part that I, I don't like or whatever that I'm insecure about. Like, see if I go like this, this here, like, my hair used to be thicker, it used to be darker, it used to like just sit better. So here I've thinned out quite a bit. This side too, I've thinned out quite a bit. Like this all used to be like dark and just more filled. Um, that's why I wear my hair like this. Because if I wear it this way, it kind of covers that and you know, it just, it doesn't look like it, but it's something that I'm insecure about and it's something that I've noticed. So I'm trying something. Um, I've done it like here and there. I haven't stuck to it like I should, but I figured let me document it here um, and like just track the progress. So obviously if you read the title, you know what I'm talking about. I ordered the Ordinary, the multi-peptide serum for hair density. I'll just read you what it says on the box, on the on the bottle, I'm sorry. It says a concentrated serum for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. Now, from a, I guess, marketing standpoint, uh, it says looks thicker, but from what I see, like people that done, have done reviews on it, it has helped their hair kind of grow back in, but it's not saying it's going to do that. That's why it says looks. It says apply a few drops as needed once daily, ideally at bedtime, to a clean, dry scalp, massage into scalp thoroughly. This formula is a leave-on treatment. Do not wash hair or scalp after application. So you have to put it on and you gotta leave it alone. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's daytime right now, but I'm not washing my hair tonight because I washed it last night. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna put it everywhere. And I did, well, it says it's for your hair. Uh, and it says, use only as directed on unbroken skin. Patch test prior to being uh, applied. <laughs> I put some on my tail of my brow. I don't do it every day, but I did it like maybe once or twice a week or once or twice. I personally feel like I see growth. Um, it's not meant to be put on your eyebrows, but I, just thought I'd give it a shot. I'm not putting it like down here. Or I'm just putting it like out here because I have a hard time growing this out. So basically what I'm saying is I am using it in a way where it's not meant to be used, but because it's hair, 
that's just what I thought to do. So I figured I'll let you guys know that. Um, don't do it because I do it and I'm not telling you to do it. That's all I'm going to say. So you get this. This was about $17 and you have two fluid ounces. So I just get it. Pour it into my hand and I'm just going to like massage it in to my scalp. This is the main area that I would like to have my hair come back. Um, so we'll see what happens. I understand that, you know, as I age, my hair will thin out. I get that. I would just like to have some hair in certain spots. But, you know, if it works, great. If it doesn't, it is what it is. But it's definitely an insecurity of mine. And that's why, like, I won't film. I'll do this for you guys right now. But I really won't film, like, with my hair back like this. Because I'm afraid that if I turn, you know, I don't like the way it looks. I'm, I'm insecure about it. And you know what? This is a beauty channel. We talk. Um, you know. We talk about things that we like, things that we don't like. And a lot of you are so honest and open with me. And I'd be lying if I sat here and said, oh, my God, yeah, I like I feel so pretty all the time. And like, there's nothing wrong with me. That would be the biggest lie in the world. And I'm not about that. So. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, and some people have said that it has helped with the flakiness. So. That, that's another plus, too. Because if I can manage this flaky scalp, that would just make my life so much easier. If any of you guys have um, the same issue with your scalp being flaky, let me know what you do about it, uh, what you use. Because I'm curious to just find a solution for this. Like I said, I've used shampoos. The one thing that kind of works is this prescription that I got once from the doctor. It was a 2% ketoconzole shampoo that was i mean it was pretty decent but so yeah that is that is an insecurity of mine is my like hair loss situation here and i noticed too after kids um especially after i had my daughter my hair started to like definitely thin out around here or i get these random like let me see if i can show you like what is this look you have, i'm sure if you have kids you you know what i'm talking about it's like this weird little baby bang or something. Maybe that's it just breaking off. I don't know. But if you have that, like, let me know too. Comment down below. I just found it very interesting. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for listening. And if you have a similar issue in security, like, don't ever, like, hesitate to reach out and, and talk about it. You know, if it's beauty related, I, I can help you as much as I can. Um, you know. Even sometimes it's good to just talk about it. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. And I will definitely do... You know what we can do? We'll do like maybe a weekly update and see. Or maybe, you know what, we'll do... Let, let's let like a month go by. Because I think that's enough time to see some noticeable differences. Unless I see a huge difference, then I'll pop in before that and, and we'll talk about it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you in my next one.